everyone and welcome back to our course on Excel for Mac 2019. In this module we're going to talk a little bit more about cut, copy and paste, three really important and fundamental things to learn. Now again if you've used the PC version of Excel you'll find that these work pretty much in exactly the same way but I'm going to run through them anyway and highlight any little differences that we may see. So first of all I'm going to talk about the difference between cut and copy. So we have some data here and I'm just going to take this data in cell H2 and I'm going to cut it. Now there are a few different ways that you can invoke the cut command. You can press Control X on your keyboard. Alternatively you can right click and you can select cut from here. You can also see that the shortcut key listed here is Command X so you can also do that. And then finally, up on our home ribbon in this first group here, we have this little pair of scissors and if we hover over, that icon is also cut. So I'm gonna use this. And you can see when I cut, the selected cell then gets those marching ants around the outside to show that that's the cell that I've cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click over here in cell J2 and I'm going to paste. So again, I could do a Control V or Command V. Or alternatively, on the home ribbon, I can click this big paste button. And you can see there we've cut and paste. Now, when you're cutting, what you're essentially doing is you're moving a piece of text or some numbers from one location to another. Copying works slightly different. So again, if we take the cell below, this time I'm going to copy, so let's do it a slightly different way this time. I'm gonna do Command C, which is the shortcut key for copy, and then Command V to paste that. So again, I could have done Control C and Control V, or I could have used the copy icon on the home ribbon and use the paste one to paste that as well. Now the difference here, and if I press escape, that will take those marching ants away, is that I've copied it. So I'm getting a copy of that text or of those numbers. So that's the difference between cut. Cut is moving, copying is copying. Now, when it comes to pasting, you don't just have the plain old paste option available. Let's take another number from this same column. I'm gonna do Control C this time. I'm gonna to go to cell J5. Now instead of just doing a paste, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up to my home ribbon. And if you look at the paste button here, we have a little arrow next to it. So I'm gonna click the arrow. And you can see that I get a lot of different options when it comes to pasting. So this really depends on what you want to do. So I can do a plain old paste. If I am copying or cutting a formula and I want to paste that in, I can make sure that it copies and pastes the formula that's underneath as well. I can choose to paste the formulas and any formatting that's been applied to that number. I can choose to keep the source formatting. So wherever I've copied that piece of text or number from, when I paste it, if I choose keep source formatting, it's gonna keep any formatting that we've applied. So if this number had have been in bold, if I selected this, it would paste in bold. I can do things like paste with no borders, that might relate to something that's within a table. I can keep source column width, so it will just paste across the same widths. Or I can do something like transpose, and I'll show you what that is in a moment. I can also do something like paste value, so this is particularly useful if you have a cell that has a number in it, but that number is the result of a calculation. So I'm gonna show you an example of that in a moment as well. So there's lots of different paste options, and you can go into paste special at the bottom, and it'll just show you all of those in a different way, and you can go through and select what you want to do when you paste. Now I'm just gonna go back and just show you a couple of these in action. So I'm gonna cancel, I'm just going to press escape to deselect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to select a range of cells. And you can see that within this range, we do have some formatting applied in that first cell. So this first cell has a background fill and it's also in white, the heading there. So if I copy this, Control C, and I want to paste it over here, and I want to keep it exactly as it is, I can go to my paste options, 
And there's a couple of things I can do in here, but I'm going to go with Keep Source Formatting. And there you go, it pasted across exactly as it was. Now what I'm going to do now is something slightly different. So I'm going to do a quick calculation. I'm going to say equals sum. I'm just going to add up a few of these numbers. So I'm going to select a range just here, H13 to H19. I'm going to close my bracket. So essentially what I have here is a sum, so a total of the cells that I selected. And what I want to do is I want to copy the result but I don't want the formula to come across with it. So maybe I need to use this in another spreadsheet, but I just don't need that sum formula lying underneath. What I could do is Control C, and if I wanted to copy it, let's just say over here, but take away that formula underneath, I can go to my paste options, and I could say paste values. Now you'll see that when I'm clicked on this cell, if you look in the formula bar, it's just giving me that number. It's not giving me that underlying sum calculation. So I've essentially thrown away the formula and just kept what I could see. So that can be really useful in some scenarios as well. Now, as I said, there are a lot of different paste options in here. I'm going to highlight one more to you, which I think is quite useful, and that is the transpose option. Now again, I'm going to take the example of, I'm just going to highlight a certain section of this. And I'm going to copy it, so this time I'm going to do Command C. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and I want to paste it in here. But watch what happens when I use Transpose. So I'm going to select my options, and I'm going to say Transpose. What it does is it arranges the data the other way round. So instead of having those column headings now running across the top, I have them running down the side of the page. So it will switch your data around. And again, sometimes that can be a really useful thing to be able to do. So those are a few of the paste options that you have. As I said, we haven't gone through all of them, but I would definitely go in and have a little play around with some of those that you can find in there because they can be really, really useful. So that is pretty much all I wanted to show you on cut, copy and paste. Please join me in the next module where we're going to be talking more about copying formulas. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And click over there to get the complete Excel for Mac 2019 beginners course. And click over there to watch the complete set of Excel Mac videos in this playlist.